Hi, I'm James Mafion. I'm a senior analyst with Decision Strategies, as well as one of the instructors for our probabilistic modeling course. If you're new to a modeling role, or you're an experienced modeler seeking to learn more about probabilistic simulation, uh, then this is definitely the top course to have on your development plan for the year. Uh, we frequently have seasoned company experts sit in on our course to vet it for rollout within their organizations, and they often remark that they too picked up a lot of new tricks, even with their ample experience. We start with an overview of a framework for sound decision making, uh, a real world application of something called decision analysis. And we talk about modeling in this broader context of making a decision. We then explore some of the basic building blocks needed to create a model, both the theory behind the economic value measures we like to include, as well as a set of Excel formulas and best practices that we'll need to create a streamlined model capable of handling the burden of a probabilistic simulation. In fact, much of this first section is breaking down old habits and relearning Excel so we can create faster and better models. The next thing we'll tackle, and this is a hands-on course, so each step of the way we'll be doing exercises and actually building a model on our laptops. Uh, but the next step is to understand some of the statistical principles as well as the ins and outs of the simulation software. In the course we teach publicly from our office, we use a program that rides on top of Excel called Crystal Ball. If your company uses a different program, such as At Risk, we're happy to create a customized version of the course and teach it internally in your office. That's something we do frequently throughout the year. We then go on to more advanced topics, such as how to handle time series data in a probabilistic simulation. That's things such as price decks. Uh, and we talk about how to handle correlation and why it's so important to do so and we'll teach how to perform sensitivity analysis. On the last day, we'll wrap up with the basics of Excel VBA macros, and we'll talk about some of the special things you'll need to consider when estimating cost or project schedules. By the end of the course, you'll have the fundamentals needed for sound probabilistic modeling. You'll also have all the exercise files we worked on, so you can use them for future reference, and this includes the model you have just built. So to register for the course, uh, go to www.decisionstrategies.com, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in class.